few details on the nine new presumptive cases. Uh, we have a male in his 60s who's hospitalized in serious condition, a male in his 60s who's isolated at home, a male in his 40s who's isolating at home, a male in his 20s who is isolating at home and is a close contact of a confirmed case, a female in her 40s who's hospitalized in good condition, a female in her 50s who's hospitalized in stable condition, a male in his 30s who's isolated at home, a male in his 50s, and a male in his 30s. And no additional details are available on these last two cases at this point, but our disease investigators are working on that. Um, we mentioned the, uh, the previously reported cases, a female in her 40s who was hospitalized on March 8th. She's isolated and in stable condition. This individual is a visitor from New York and she arrived in Las Vegas on March 5th and attended the Woman of Power Summit at the Mirage. And a male in his 60s who's isolating at home and is a close contact of a reported case. A female in her 70s who's isolating at home and is a close contact of a previously reported case. A male in his 50s with a travel history to Washington State and Texas. This patient remains hospitalized in serious condition. And a female in her 70s with underlying medical conditions and in-state travel history to Reno uh, and no out-of-state or international travel. This patient was asymptomatic while traveling. The patient remains hospitalized in serious condition. Uh, regarding testing, uh, to date, the health district has completed 223 tests. That's not persons, but that's tests um, that have been completed. We have the capacity to, uh, uh, to test approximately 1,000 specimens. Uh, people need to be assessed by a health care provider who will make the determination if testing is needed. 